Uh, my name is Victor Loreto and I'm from Jemez Pueblo. Right now I'm just working on a piece um, that my mother had built. So I'm just trying to finish off these here. And I've been doing this all morning. Uh, it takes a lot of time. I'd rather be doing a smaller piece <laughs> right now, but <laughs> these had to be done too, so it's all right. It's worth it, I think, yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of our people have gone off, not only my t generation, but before our grandfathers and all that. I know they have their memories, and I know they miss their own thing, but for me, being away, it's, it's, it's like a piece of you. It's, it's, it's not there no more. But I, you know, I'm glad to be home. I'm, I'm glad to be back home. It, it's, it's really a blessing to be here and to be um, doing this, you know, with my mom and my, my father and stuff. Yeah, you know, that's what I think. Even though we live on the reservations and the life has changed a lot, you know, we 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 live like like anybody else. We try to keep our home very open, um, and it has many purposes. And um, we always try to be there uh, for the people. So in a way, we try to, I guess in our own way, we might be what you would consider ambassadors. Whenever I think about leaving home or being away from home, I think about like the ones who have kept my tradition going, the older ones who have gone, I think just that makes me want to keep going. Tradition to most of our people is um, carrying on the language, carrying on the ceremonies, carrying on um, the way we live and be proud of who we are. That's how I was taught. And that's what I was, that's, that's, it's very meaningful to me and it, and that's very important. So that's why I, I teach my, my kids, you know, about all this, what I learned from my dad and my mom. What my dad used to tell me is when I was growing up is help, help your people, help them. The people are the most important in this world. That's that's why I have a lot of respect for people. It don't matter what color. We're all human beings. A lot of times I cry, you know, I really did. I cry a lot thinking about home. I close my eyes. And then, you know, the, the clouds aren't all the same everywhere. You know, clouds from every different um, state, they're all different, but New Mexico and uh, Arizona and these Southwest areas, they got specific cloud, you know, that you can see, and there was nothing like that, and that's what I really missed. And, and here, Hamas is my place, and I know whomever it may be, they could call home, you know. It's different for maybe the other, gen you know, the other aspect of different ethnic groups, you know, the black man or white man or whatever, but they got their ways, and us Native Americans, we have our specific way, and this is where I was growing up and probably most likely be buried here in the reservation. Yeah. I went to school when I was 12, and when I got my degree, I came back to, to the reservation. I teach Navajo culture, history, and philosophy, and oral tradition and style. The Nat College is located in an old BIA boarding school compound. It's uh, some students that were that are there went to school there, were denied their language, their culture, and history when they were a kid. And in the same classroom, I teach those things. And in the same building, and almost in the same place. You know? That's the, the ironic of what happened. 